hello friends please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified for new videos hello friends welcome back to the channel so today we are going to learn how we can deploy a java application on elastic paint so i'm just clicking on it and this is the console to deploy or create the elastic bean setup so we need to click on get started i'm clicking on it and this is the form from where we can configure our application so here i need to give the application name i'm giving as try to catch sorry this caps yes try to catch now to, de to deploy the java applications we have we need to have tomcat so we can deploy multiple things like uh, python related php ruby java which is the g2se or docker uh, docker things also so right now we need tomcat so i'm selecting the tomcat and uh, for now i'm just having the sample application later on we will deploy our custom application which we will eclipse or uh, any other id so for now i'm clicking on create application and it is just getting all the things which is required to run the java application so yes it is creating the environment and there will be the logs what are the events are happening in the background on the right side here we have installing the aws plastic bean cli so we can do all these things by the uh, CLI also. Below this, we have the references of the CLI commands. And here we, we can create your own custom platforms and other references where we need to have the create the databases or custom domain, how we can add. So it will take some time, depends on your network and that will be created. And this is the IP to connect with your uh, environment using the CLI. Now we got the URL uh, by using this we can see our application and this is the environment ID only. So the URL is created waiting for EC2 instance to launch. So this is the page of console. Our environment is created in the application which is try to catch and this is the environment name try to catch env environment and the configuration is tomcat 8.5 we are using with java 8 and it is running on 64 bit linux server and uh, this is the health that uh, our application is running fine or server is running fine and from here upload and deploy you can just choose the war file of your custom application and you can just deploy it or you can label it as version i am just cancelling it and let's see on this what we will have so i'm clicking on it and it should be the sample application yes congratulations your first aws elastic bean application is now running on your dedicated environment in the aws cloud and these are the some references of elastic bean so sample application is running fine now we will create our own custom application to see that actually our custom applications are running on tomcat 8.5 amazon services or not now we are going to create a java web application so this is my clips hit on file new and then dynamic web project and give the name of your project try to catch and apache tomcat 8.5 i have selected as a runtime dynamic web module 3.1 and click on next next Click on this web.xml because if I'll select here, then it will select by default. Like I'll show you, uh, this is the okay. I'll show you once again. File new dynamic web project, and if I'll select 2.5 and name it here to catch, then. 2.5 I have selected then next next and this time it is by default selected because in 2.5 we don't have notations but in 3.1 we have notations then we don't need web.xml so yes I have selected 2.5 then hit finish 
and now I'm going to create a JSP file not going with this outlet because uh, after compilation JSP will also convert it into servlet so to make it short I'm creating it index and here I'm using scriptlet tag uh, which is expression and uh, here I'm going to print this is the home page for elastic beam and here give h2 tag header tag like this and let's have a look how it will look so here uh, run on server we start server okay 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 so yes it is working fine so like this we should have on elastic beam also so now i'm going to export it as for so right click on the project click on export and then for file click on it and give the location to export desktop save and hit finish i'm going to my console and uh, click on upload and deploy and then here i need to give the version 1.0 and deploy it and now it will accept all the jars and other dependencies and here we can see the events which is going on in the background so like the eclipse we have traced debug info so you can watch all the things whether we are getting any error or not info and other things so it will take a couple of minutes you can just from you can just refresh here now our war file is deployed successfully so i am going to click on this link and we should have that yes we are getting the same message this is the home page for elastic bean now one thing i want to tell you that uh, this is the application and we have an environment in our application so we can have multiple environment in an application like for testing or for the production server so yes we can have multiple environment in an application so friends that's it for this video if you like the information hit the like button do share the video in your group and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you for watching Jai Hind.